All right, guys, welcome back to another video. And today I'm really excited to talk about a new product that I just received in the mail, a sponsored review here on the Deadeye VR Golf Club. Now I tested a couple of these, uh, you know, accessories and stuff on the Oculus Quest 2 days, and everyone always says the same thing. Obviously you're in VR, you can't see anything. So why would you wanna be holding something? Why would you put any thought into holding something that you can't actually see? Well, I'm gonna tell you guys that when you have something like this, like a golf club, it really adds to the immersion while you're playing golf games. Imagine playing golf plus and uh, you know, walkabout mini golf and stuff like that with a golf club in your hand so you can actually feel like you're holding a real life golf club. And you know, I've seen some other ones, some of them have made of plastic that I use in the Quest 2 and stuff like that, but none of them have felt as premium as this one here from Deadeye VR. So let's go ahead and take a look at this up close and see what we have going on. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech. Going for a brekkie is the gaming tech. Gaming tech is the gaming tech. Gaming tech. Yeah. All right, guys, so I wanted to take a look at this really uh, quickly up close here so you guys can take a look. So you can see the handle of this is a carbon fiber material, which as you can see there looks really, really nice, has a really nice carbon fiber, uh, carbon fiber look. This does detach here and just it comes in two parts, as you guys can see here, and you just kind of snap it on and just twist it on just like that. The premium feel, this top part here really feels like a golf club. It has that same kind of material that you would expect out of a golf club. It has the you know, Dead Eye VR logo here as you can see here, uh, and it looks really good. And then what's really cool about this thing, if I go ahead and take this out here for a minute, so you guys can take a look, if I just take the controller out, this here on the bottom, uh, this green part actually opens up, and this is to actually add counterweight. So when you first get it, there's not gonna be anything in it, as you can see right there, this thing is empty, there's nothing in there, but it actually comes with these weights right here which is really cool. You can see these weights are sitting right here. And what's really cool if I put this down here, and there goes my controller. If I put that down here for a minute, it also came with a dead eye, uh, you know, strap right here if you wanna put that on your controller. But it comes with all of these weights and you can add as much weights as you actually want to the actual system. Uh, you basically just take these rings that are adding counter, uh, counterweight to this and you basically just put it there at the bottom, as you can see there, you basically then Push forward, got to put it a little bit of force so it kind of attaches, just like that. You close it up and then it adds some like heft to this so you actually feel like you're actually holding a golf club. So I think that's really cool that you can actually add weight to this thing, customize it to your liking on how much you actually want it to weigh. I think that was a really nice touch with this. And then of course, like I said, it is really easy to kind of use this thing and, and kind of wear it. So you can or, or put this in the controller. So you wanna put this facing up into the actual thing so you can see this is the controller holder and you want the controller facing up. There's a hole at the bottom for the strap. So if I get this in here and pull the strap to the bottom just like this, you're gonna go just like that. And then you basically just give it a little bit of a push down so it's in there securely. Uh, you take your, your strap and you basically put it underneath just like that. It has a little hole right here. Uh, if you guys can see that to kind of put it right in there. So it kind of holds it in place if you want to, but you can take that and kind of just strap it onto there and kind of tighten it up right here. So the strap's not in your way and that's it. And then obviously you're, you're leaving this just like this and then you're using the golf club, you know, on the top here to swing. So that's basically a quick overview of the actual golf club. Like I said, it's made really well. It feels really hefty. It feels like a real golf club in your hands. The counterweights are awesome. How easy this is to take in and out. I mean, it's, it's literally pull out, pull in. You're not doing anything really. Uh, and it stays in there really securely. It doesn't fall out as you see me wiggling this and it doesn't go anywhere, which you're not gonna be doing that upside down during a game, but just to show some sturdiness. And uh, yeah, this feels like a real golf club, really premium feel here at the top. So let's go ahead now. I'm gonna show you guys some gameplay of me playing with this thing, a couple of rounds of golf plus so you guys can see exactly what this thing could do. All right guys, here we are with Golf Plus, as you guys are looking at right here, we are in the middle of here. And you can see when you go into settings and controls, this is where you would find the Dead Eyes, uh, you know, golf presets that you need to change to. So this is for the red one that I also perceive, but um, the one that we're talking about here is the elite one. So you have both options here that you can now uh, pick from the presets. And when you pick it and you go back and you can see I have the preset now ready to go as you guys are looking at here. You can see that we have the golf club right here in the game, which is really cool, modeled out. And you can see we are now ready to hit some golf balls as you guys are looking at here. 
As you can see how cool that is, that it's actually exactly how it's supposed to look like. It's got the exact same model. And you can go ahead and take some shots and stuff. Uh, you can go ahead and just pull the stick towards you if you want to, to still use the controller while it's in here. For example, I'm just going to go ahead and click one of these. We'll go ahead and go into one of the game modes here really quickly. I'm really, really bad. You never, you, you didn't come here for skill. I'm definitely not a golf player in real life either, so that doesn't help. But uh, I, I could definitely feel more entertained and it's a lot more fun, you know, to be in here. Um, you know, with this golf club in my hand, it makes me feel like I'm actually playing golf, especially because what I touch in the game actually feels like I'm touching it. So you see how, like, since this is mimicked exactly like what this controller feels like, this white part that I feel that has the rubber grip, when I put my hands on it here, it feels like I'm touching the rubber grip because that's what the game is also showing me. If I put my hands down here, it also shows me that I'm touching the silver part too. So it's just, it, it just feels like you're actually touching what you're supposed to be touching, uh, which is really cool. We're going to go ahead and try this again. Still pretty bad. Actually, it couldn't be any worse. But like I said, this is really fun. Obviously, you got to deal with the fact that you got to rotate the controller around to you know be able to hit that um, and then continue. But that's just the nature of this. But I'd still rather be playing with this golf club than not playing with this golf club here. This is a lot more fun, if, even if I'm terrible. But yeah, this is uh, a lot of fun. I don't think you guys need to see how bad my skills are to get the idea that playing golf with an actual golf club and this one feeling actually premium and actually being mapped out in the game where you can actually feel everything, uh, definitely makes playing the game that much more fun. For sure. And we're going right into the ditch. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video on the on the Dead Eye VR uh, golf club here, as you guys are looking at. Really, really premium feeling like I showed you guys there in the video, and I had a ton of fun using this. This is definitely something that I'm going to have on my VR shelf there where I have all my accessories that I've shown before. And basically, anytime I want to play walkabout and I want to go through a full golf course or if I want to play you know, a full range of 18 holes on Golf Plus, this is definitely the accessory that I'm going to be gravitating towards. This feels really premium. It really feels like you're actually holding a golf club. The fact that you can customize the weights, the fact that it has the carbon fiber uh, you know, material here, everything just feels really, really good on here. How easy it is to, stick, to put this in and out. It's not like it takes like five minutes to set this up. I could literally be in and out of this in 30 seconds with the strap and be ready to go to play the game so it's really easy to grab and go and get this ready and it just adds to the immersion factor i know some people have a hard time visualizing that when they're like i have a vr headset why would i want to hold one of these trust me when you're playing walkabout mini golf or golf plus and you have one of these it's really going to feel like you're holding a golf club in your hand and it may not sound that crazy or it may sound like a simple thing but it definitely elevates the immersion and this is the most high quality one i've ever had the chance to review on this channel and i have tried a bunch of other ones back on the quest two days and this one is amazing and i can't wait to continue this to continue using this so thank you for dead eye vr for allowing me to check this out on this channel this was amazing i'll have links down below to the product so you guys can check it out for yourself if you guys are interested uh, they have it you know this works with the quest 3 the quest 2 uh, just check the links down below and it only runs 34.99 for this exact one that i have here they do have another model as well for $49.99 that you can go ahead and check out if you want to. That is basically a smaller version of this instead of using a whole entire golf club. It kind of hooks to the controller so you can see that on the website. But uh, this is fantastic, guys. I hope you guys check it out. If you guys have any questions, as always, leave it down below. If not, thank you guys for watching. Till next time.